Hello, good evening. Hello, Antonio. Hello, Guillermo. Hello. Hello, hello, Mayra. Hello, hello, hello Andrea. Hello. hello, good evening. Good evening. Hello, Noé. Hello. Hello, Ismael. Hello, Joel. Hello. Hello, how are you, mister? Hello, hello. Hello, welcome. Hello, Yolanda. Welcome to the class, everybody. Hello. Hello, hello. How are you today? ¿Cómo están el día de ahora? Good, ba Good, excellent, Guillermo. Bye. Hello, Andrea, how are you? Fine, thank you. Nice, that's good. Almost the end of the week, right? Almost, almost finished. That's super good. We made it to to almost Friday, right? <laughs> ya casi que lo logramos a viernes, right? Tomorrow. O, o Saturday you still work. O sábado todavía trabajan. No. no. Oh, that's no. awesome. That's good. <laughs> that's very good. That's good. That's good. Awesome. Okay, so we almost finished with the week. Casi, verdad? Casi, casi. So you made it. That's great. Okay, that's excellent. And so we are going to continue. Okay. Now, um, today we are going to continue with the topic that we studied yesterday, okay? El día de ahora vamos a continuar con el, bueno, con el tema que estábamos haciendo el día de ayer, okay? And we are going to do many more things as well, okay? I don't know if you have any questions so far. No sé si tienen alguna duda o pregunta. Ismael, creo que usted fue el que me escribió por lo del correo, vea, de la plataforma. Sí, pero ya lo resolví. Ah, ok, ya, ya. perfect, perfect, porque yo mandé el reporte, mister, y yo dije, ¿será que no me lo resolvieron? Y no me, no, yo dije, no lo han resuelto, pero, ok, because remember that today we have to have finished at least section one, ok, por lo menos para el día de ahora vamos a tener, este, por lo menos la sección número uno, ok, please, ok, let's try to do it, vamos a intentar hacerlo. Aunque ahorita vamos a empezar con eh, unit number two. Bueno, más adelantito, ¿verdad? So, just to clarify. Eh, sí, no sé si alguien ya vio la plataforma. Es súper fácil, está súper fácil. And so, it's not difficult at all. Es, recuerden que solo es práctica de lo que hemos visto en la clase. Son cinco preguntitas por cada tema que vamos viendo diario. So, it's super fast. Si no lo pueden realizar o tienen alguna duda, remember that you can text me. Recuerden que me pueden escribir en el grupo de uh, WhatsApp o me escuchan bien. Oh, sí. Ok, me pueden escribir en el grupo de WhatsApp o me pueden escribir en privado. Yo con gusto les voy a apoyar con la plataforma. Ok, just as a reminder, solo como recordatorio. Ok, so you can try to do it. Ok, para que intentemos hacerla. So let's go ahead and continue. So today it is English. Well, you know that this is uh, the curse of English principiante módulo 1. Today it is Thursday, April 20th, 2023. And today we are going to continue. We are going to talk about some objects, okay? Vamos a hablar acerca de los objetos in the class or in the classroom and also in the house. So we are going to talk about two things. Vamos a tratar de hablar de dos cosas. And we are going to try to, to start with unit number two. That is, what's this? But before we continue with that, uh, we have the agenda. The activity that I have, it's the one that we missed yesterday. Vamos a continuar con la actividad que nos faltó el día de ayer. So it was basically, remember that we were studying the numbers from one to 100, but right now we are going to practice the phone numbers, okay? So basically what you have to do is that you have to do like this conversation, like what's your name? Um, and you say like, you say like, let's do a practice. I'm gonna practice with uh, Joel. Joel, are you there, Joel? Hello. Hello. <coughs> I'm sorry, hello, mister. What's your name? Just um, my, my name is Joel Gonzalez. Exactly. And what's your phone number, mister? Is no según nombre. No tengo segundo nombre. No, phone number, mister. Phone ah. number. Número de teléfono. Phone number. Ah, perdón, perdón. No problem. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. What's your phone number? Seven. Ajá. Uh -huh. 
One. Yes. Sí. Yes. A. Yes. Nine. Mm -hmm. One. Yes. Seven. Seven, uh -huh. and? Three. Three, excellent, okay, thank you. Okay, and then, so that's what we are going to do right now. Eso es lo que vamos a hacer, uh, like right at this moment, okay? But, okay, um, we are, maybe we are going to change it a little bit, okay? And you're going to tell me, you're not going to say your phone numbers, maybe you're going to say numbers for restaurants, okay? Vamos a decir números telefónicos de restaurants, porque, because if we, if we go to, go to, if we go to, wait, wait a second, I'm going to mute you for a second. Si vamos a breakout rooms, uh, we are going to take a little bit of time y algunos no pueden participar. Entonces vamos a ir por restaurants, okay? For example, do you know what's the phone number for Pollo Campero? Who knows it? What's the phone number? Who knows it? ¿Quién se lo sabe? Tell me, tell me. I think it's uh -huh. 636 oh, 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 oh. Really? Six? I think uh, uh I don't think zero, so. <laughs> six zero zero zero. And I don't remember. <laughs> really? Zero zero like this? I think. I think. I think okay. Uh okay, so let's um let me shake because I don't have pollo campero. Uh, anybody who can check? No sé si alguien solo tengo pollo campestre. I don't know. <laughs> pollo campero. What about pollo campestre? Do you know the name for pollo campestre? The name, the phone number, sorry. The phone number? What's the phone number for Pollo Campestre? Do you know it? Uh -huh. Two, two, uh -huh. one, okay. two, one, two, eight. Two, wait, wait, wait. Eight. Two, 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 Yolanda, eight. one more time. Uh -huh. Eight, two, eight, eight. no. Oh, like this one. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, egg, egg, and egg. Egg. Yes, mm -hmm. okay, but it's, twi it's two, two, one, two, two, eight, two, eight. Really? Hmm. Yes. Ah, no. no, 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 no. Okay. Two, mm -hmm. two, uh -huh. one, uh -huh. one, uh, okay. two, one. Eh. So in the first ones, like, like here. Eh. Bam. Two. Uh-huh. One. Uh-huh. Two. Uh-huh. One. Excellent. Now, now we're talking. Yep. Yes, exactly. That's the phone number for Pollo Campestre. What about for Pizza Hut? Do you know what is the the phone number for Pizza Hut? Can you tell me? Uh-huh. What's the phone number? I think two. Uh-huh. Two, two. Uh huh. Five. Uh huh. Seven. Yes. Seven. Uh huh. Seven. Seven. Exactly. That's the phone number for Pizza Hut. What about for Claro? Do you know what's the phone number for Claro? Company? <laughs> Daniela, Eddie, Guillermo, Ismael, Jonathan, what happened? Maria Salome, Noe, Walter, William, Yolanda. Do you know it? The Claro's numbers? Uh huh. Hello, two. Uh huh. Two. Yes. Five. Yes. Zero. Uh huh. Five. Yes. Five. 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 Yes, excellent. What's the phone number for Tigo? Do you know the name? The, ah, the name, what? I don't know why I'm saying the name. The phone number for Tigo. Hmm. What's the phone number for Tigo? Do you know? Or oh, for, hmm, let's say for, oh, two, uh huh. Two, yeah, uh huh. Two, two, oh, seven, four. Oh, uh -huh. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, so two, two. So it's two, two. Oh, seven. Oh, seven. Uh huh. Four. Four. Uh -huh. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, very good. 
good, excellent. So I don't know, can you mention any other restaurants or places that you know the phone, the phone numbers, please? Like any place that you want to mention? Buffalo Wings. I'm sorry? Buffalo. Ah, Buffalo, Buffalo Wings. Okay, perfect. So what's the phone number for Buffalo Wings? I don't know what's the phone number, by the way, <laughs> for Buffalo Wings. I didn't know they have. I only asked for pedido ya, so I don't know. Uh-huh. So what is the phone number? Uh-huh. Two, two. Okay. Six, three. Yes. Six, four, eight, okay. six. A six. Excellent. Very good. Very good. What about what's another place or another like hospital maybe that you know that you want to share with me the phone number? Mm -hmm. One more, one more phone number. William, Walter, eh, Marvin, maybe, Maria Salomé, un número que ustedes conozcan de donde ustedes viven, okay? Uh -huh. So one thing here, one place. I'm sorry? Cruz Roja. Okay, Cruz Roja. So what's the phone number for Cruz Roja? Two. Yes. Three. I'm sorry, two? Three. Uh huh. Three. Mm -hmm. Oh. Uh huh. Nine. Uh huh. One. Yes. Six. Yes. Six. 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 Three. Uh huh. Six. Nine. Nine. One. Three. Ah, three. Uh huh. And five. Five. Excellent. Very good. Okay, so that was perfect. Okay. Thank you for practicing with me. That was super, super good, okay? Just to like do a little bit of practice for the phone numbers, okay? So um, we are going to move on, okay? And now with the next uh, thing that we have for today, well, we are going to do, first of all, attendance section, okay? So please activate your cameras and say present, okay? Ready, ready? Okay. Okay, say present. Andrea Marlini. Present. Thank you. Daniela Beatriz. Present. Thank you. Denis Alberto. Okay. Denis Alberto. No, okay. Eh, Eric Alberto. Present. Thank you. Guillermo Baltazar. Present. Thank you, Mr. Ismael. Present. Thank you, Mr. Joel Gonzalez. Present. Thank you. Jonathan David. Present. Thank you, Luis Mario. Maria Salomé. Present. Thank you, Marvin Recoberto. Present. Thank you, Mayra Alejandra. Present. Thank you, Noe Danilo. Present. Thank you, Pedro Alexander. Okay, no. Eh, Pedro Antonio. Present. Thank you, Walter Alexander. Present. Thank you, William Alexander. Present. Thank you, Yolanda Cristina. Present. Thank you. Uh, Denis Alberto. Present. Say, present. Thank you, Mr. <laughs> Excellent. Okay, so I think I mentioned all. Thank you, everybody, for being here. Okay, so now let's move on to the next section. Okay, now, as I told you before, today we are going to learn a little bit about, we are going to practice, okay? Objects in the classroom and objects in the house, okay? Vamos a hablar un poco acerca de los objetos, okay? En la casa, pero también en la escuela o en alguna aula, ¿verdad? So, 
Can you tell me how do you say, for example, lapis? How do you say lapis in English? Pencil. Ah, very good. It's pencil, right? How do you say, uy, oh my goodness, lapicero is the one. How do you say lapicero in English? Pen. Exactly, it's pen. Very good. How do you say, oh, lapis now? Pencil. <laughs> yes. Pencil. Pencil, pencil okay? Let's see now. How do you say borrador in English? Eraser. 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 Mm -hmm. Eraser. Eraser o rubber. Cualquiera de las dos se puede utilizar, ¿ok? Uh -huh. Rubber or eraser, ¿ok? Very good, very good. So those are the ones. Ok, let's go with the next one. How do you say regla in English? Ruler. Yes, very good. Ruler. What about how do you say I? Libro. <laughs> yeah, definitely, right? <laughs> Notebook or book. I mean, pero este es book, right? Libro, ¿verdad? Different. Eh, different. Okay, okay. So right now we are going to do a practice. Vamos a hacer un pequeño, una pequeña práctica. Miren si pueden escribir porque no sé por qué no me sale la. I'd like to share. Oh, perfect. Okay, puedo ver que sí, sí pueden. But I'm going to share with you a picture. Voy a compartir con ustedes una imagen y van a señalar point, okay? The pen, okay? The pen, okay? So one, two, three. Wait, no, wait, wait, wait. Okay, right now, right now. Point the pen, the pen. <gasps> Oh my goodness. <laughs> Excellent. Very good, very good. Okay, let's go with the next one. Can you point out the ruler? Let's go. Aha. Uh -huh. Very good. Oh my goodness. Okay, excellent. <laughs> oh my goodness, you're oh my goodness. Okay, let's go next one. Point out the book. Okay, very good. Excellent. Point out to the book. Okay, excellent. Let's go next one. Point out to the pencil. Okay, very good, very good. Now let's point out. Very good. Okay, ahora son más. Okay, can you? Oh, okay. So in this one, as you can see, we have many things, okay? Tenemos muchos objetos, okay? How many books do you see? Books, cuantos? Books do you see? Five. 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 Ah, five. Okay. How many pencils do you see? Four, five, oh, no, five. Uh, six. <laughs> five. Six. Seven. Six. Seven. Six. Seven. Seven. It's seven. 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 Okay, very good. How many rubbers or erasers do you see? Eight. Nine. Eight. 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 Nine. 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 One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So it's nine, nine right? Very good. Okay, now, how many rulers do you see? Six. 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 Yes, it's six. And the last one, how many pens do you see? Three. 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 Excellent. Very good, very good. Three, right? One, two, three. Perfect. Okay, now, how many things are in all? ¿Cuántos objetos? Objects. Do you see? How many objects? ¿Cuántos por todos? <laughs> yeah, how many do you see? Thirty. 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 Uh, what 30. about the other ones? What do you think? Thirty. Oh, really? Thirty. 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 Thirty
Yes. Thirty. 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 Thirty objects, right? Very good. Very good. Excellent. Okay. Now, let's go ahead and continue. And now, uh, as you can see in unit number two, here we have the picture. Okay. And I'm gonna share also my. Wait. Let me share my my manual. Okay. Give me one second because I do have it in big. Okay, so in my manual here, we have this, okay? We have unit number two. In unit number two, we have, wait a second, I'm gonna mute you for a little bit, okay? So here we have, what's this, okay? What's this? Que, que gesto, verdad? And here we have some objects, okay? Um, give me one second. So we, we are going to do a little bit of practice with pronunciation, okay? Uh, do you know how to say lentes de sol? How do you say lentes de sol? Sunglasses. 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 Right, repeat after me. Sunglasses. Sunglasses. Okay, sunglasses. Uh -huh. Glasses, uh, like this, okay? I can sunglasses. Open it. Uh -huh. Sunglasses, okay. How do you say billetera? A wallet. A wallet. <laughs> yes, wallet. Very good. How do you say pain in English? Hairbrush. Hey, 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 Hairbrush. Exact hairbrush. hairbrush. Very good. How do you say, oh my goodness, eh, reproductor de CD? <laughs> CD player. Oh, CD player. Old, player. right? Super old, but yeah, CD player. How do you say teléfono celular in English? Cell phone. Cell phone. Yes, very good. How do you say llaves in English? Keys. 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 Keys, right? Keys. Keys. Okay, wait. Keys. keys, como like keys, but no keys, right? How do you say, <laughs> yeah. How do you say camera? Camera. 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 Exactly. Al principio es con una E. Camera. Very good. Excellent. Excellent. Okay, now. Very good. Those uh, it says here what is in your bag, but I don't I don't think we have all of these things in our bags, right? Ah, no falta el último. ¿Quién no lo vi este? Ve? How do you say? Bueno, para eso no se usa libro de contactos. An address. An address. An address. Mm, perfect. Very good. Excellent. Okay. Now. Why am I uh, like reviewing this? Porque les, por les hablaba un poco acerca de eso. Because right now we are going to learn about um, two important things, okay? When we are saying an, an object, okay? Vamos a aprender acerca de dos cosas que son esenciales al momento de mencionar objetos, okay? Y these are called ad ar articles, sorry, no se puede articles, okay? Articles, why? Because they define, este, los articles pueden ser def definite, definite, eh, or indefinite, okay? Indefinite. Esos son los dos tipos de articles que tenemos, okay? Definite and indefinite. And why it's called definite? Porque es llamado definite, porque es definitivo, it's one, y otro es más específico. Y los indefinite, indefinite son indefinitivos y no son específicos. Esa es la diferencia. En este caso, for example, for uh, in an, ellos son indefinite. ¿Por qué? Porque no son específicos. Why do you say that? ¿Por qué digo esto? Vaya, por ejemplo, aquí tenemos algunos ejemplos. Un artículo, like for example, a, ok. Eh, vamos a utilizarlo eh, cuando la siguiente palabra comience con una consonant, con una consonante. Like, for example, here we have this one. And I want, please, Walter, can you help me to read here, please, Mr. Walter, the examples with a and consonant? Uh, more lamp. Ajá. Uh -huh. uh, more tall. No, a door, just a door. A door, mm -hmm. a door, uh -huh. a house, uh -huh. a bag, yeah. and a tomato. Okay, very good. Miren, entonces, ¿qué otros ejemplos podríamos dar con a? For example, de lo que acabamos de ver, de los objetos que acabamos de ver. A? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. A, a cell phone. Pencil. Uh -huh. A pencil. A pencil. Uh -huh. What else? A pen. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. A ruler. A notebook. Exactly. A tablet. 
Exactly, very good. A ruler, a tablet. Oh, yes, a, a laptop. A rubber, uh, a laptop. What else? Uh, mm -hmm. A car, yeah. A ruler. Ruler, uh -huh. ruler. What else? A tablet. Again, the tablet. Very good. Excellent. Okay. Now, uh, so that's another one. Okay. Now, that's the first def indefinite. Remember, recuerden que ese es el primero indefinido. ¿Por qué? Porque no decimos colores, no somos específicos, solo decimos a cell phone, pero puede ser un iPhone, un Samsung, un like whatever, right? Ahora, con el otro indefinitivo es el eh, an and a vowel. ¿Qué, ¿Qué significa eso? Que la palabra que vaya después del an debe de ser con una vowel, right? And here we have some examples. Help me to read, please. Mm. Maria Salome, can you help me read here, please, Maria? An apple, mm -hmm. an elephant, an ice cream, an orange, an umbrella. Exactly. Very good. Now, uh, can you tell me another example with the ones uh, that are with R with vowel? And? An eraser. An eraser. Very good. And? What else? What else can you tell me with an? But una palabra que empieza con ah uh, an ruler empieza con vocal. Hmm. What about orange? Ah, no, it's that orange. Wait. Uh, octopus. Octopus. Uh, it will be octopus. Sería. Oh my goodness. Uh, how do you say this? Pulpo. Pulpo. Thank Pulpo. you, Miss. Yes, exactly. And an I was elephant. an elephant. Uh -huh. Palabras que terminen, que inicien con vocal. Uh -huh. Otra palabra que ustedes conocen que en English que empiece con una vocal. An ocean. Ocean. Ah, an engineer. Uh -huh. What else? An architect. An architect. Exactly, right? Architect. Very good. Excellent. Okay. ¿Y qué significa an? Uno, vea, un. Okay, so that's it so far. Give me one second because I want to send you this picture so we have some ideas, okay? Okay, I know I can't. Oh my goodness. Okay, but okay. So now that's with only one thing, okay? Eso es solo con un objeto, ¿verdad? Now let's talk about when we have many. Ahora vamos a hablar acerca de que cuando tenemos varios, okay? ¿Y qué sucede? The first rule, la primera regla, is that a la mayoría de las palabras se les agrega S. Like, for example, here, help me to read, please, Antonio. Here. Uh, L, mm -hmm. L, L is too much. Mm -hmm. Nouns to make. Nouns to make in plural. Exactly. For example, dog, varios sería. Dogs, right? Dogs. Uh -huh. If I say, for example, ruler, ¿cómo sería el plural de ruler? Ruler. Ruler. Uh -huh. Rulers. Yeah, Rulers. very good. Ruler. And what about laptop? ¿Cuál sería el plural de laptop? Laptops. 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 Very good. Laptops. What about cell phone? Cell phone. Cell phone. Cell phone. Cell phone. Cell phone. Como pueden ver, la mayoría se les agrega solo la muy S, vea. Uh, now, that's number one. Esa es la number one. Okay, let's go with the next one. The next one, it says here. Help me to read, please, Noé. Thank you. Noé, Danilo, help me, please. I, I, I know that in this, and in, in, she, S, 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 or three, C. Or Z, exactly. When we have nouns, cuando tenemos nombres o palabras, ¿ok? Que terminan con estas consonantes, ¿ok? O sea, con C, H, S, H, S, X, ajá. Or Z, vamos a agregarle E, S, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, box. Como box. Box. 
boxes, right? Boxes. boxes. Uh -huh. And what about if I have, for example, watches? Ah, oh, I'm sorry, I give you the plural. Mm -hmm. Watches, que es reloj, ¿verdad? Reloj Hello. uno y reloj sería watches. What about, let's see, let's see, let's see. And... Watch. Ah? Watch. What? No, it's a, it's a verb. No, no, no. Watch. Let's see. For example, oh. queen. Quiz. Sería plural. Quiz examen. Ajá, quizzes. quizzes. Look, oh, which, ajá. Which, which is. Eh, which. Brujas. Ajá. Witches. Witches, exactly. Fox. Ah, very no. good. El plural sería. Yes. What's the plural for fox? Foxes. Exactly. Foxes. Very, very good. Excellent. ¿Por qué? Porque, ajá. Cheese. Keys. Ah, keys. What, the, what is the plural? Kisses. Kisses. Exactly. Kisses. Excellent. Very good. Very good. Okay. Now let's go ahead and continue. Vamos. This is like second rule para varios, ¿verdad? Porque nos estamos hablando de varias cosas, okay? In the second rule, let's go with the next rule. Help me to read, please, uh, Daniela. If the noun ends in Y with a consonant before the Y, change the Y to <coughs> I and up S. Exactly. When we have a word, cuando tenemos una palabra que termina en Y, O sea, cuando está en singular, o sea, solo uno. Queremos hacer la de varios. Debemos de cambiar esa Y por una I latina y una e S. Ok, for example, ahí tenemos de ejemplo, Sherry sería. Sherry's. If I say baby, baby, ¿cuál es el plural for baby? <coughs> What's the plural for baby? Ah, baby. What about city? Cities. 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 Very good. What about. Hmm. Hmm. Oh my goodness. Sí. I don't... Huh? Fly. No, fly sí. is a verb. Ya, ya fly, sí. mosca. Ah, the mosca. Oh, true fact. Mm, okay, so fly the mosca, it would be. Flies. Flies. Ok, pero aquí cabe recalcar que también recuerden el contexto de la oración para que podamos identificar si es el verbo o es el objeto, ¿verdad? The fly flies. So it depends. So be careful with that. Ok, tengan cuidado con eso al momento de utilizar el mosca, ¿verdad? Or fly. Maybe mosquito you can use. I don't know. Just an idea. Let's go to the last one. And the last one. Help me to read, please, Guillermo. If the noun ends in F or F E, mm -hmm. drop the F and add mm -hmm. B E S. Exactly. Thank you. Okay, so so there are some words that when they finish in F, as I says over here, okay, or F E, okay, vamos a eliminar esa F y vamos a agregarle a like wefs. For example, leaf, el singular de hojas es así, leaf. Eh, le, uh, yeah, so for make it plural, leaves, okay, eliminó, como pueden ver, eliminó la F y agregó ves. Like, for example, um, wife, wife es esposa, ¿verdad? pero para decir esposas, it would be, ¿qué sería? Vamos a ver. Wife. Wives, miren. Se quitó, ajá, se quitó la FE y se agregó ves, the wives, y se pronuncia igual, solo la S cambia, ok. Wives, eh, wife, wife es una, ve esposa, wives, wives uh -huh. wife. y wives con S, wives. esposas, ok. Esposas. Ajá, uh -huh. yeah, so that's uh, the other for plural, ok. This is a very important picture, ok, just to remember, ok, about the nouns in plurals. Esta es acerca de los plurales, ok. Now, in the manual, we have a little bit of practice that we are going to do right now. For example, it says here, 
we are going to first practice the singular form. For example, number one, what's the correct answer for number one? This is what? A or an? What do you think? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Ah, very. Uh -huh. Yes, uh -huh. perfect, perfect. A uh -huh. book or a book? What do you think? Book. Uh -huh. A book. book. What about number two? A uh -huh. or an? An. Um, um, and uh, exactly um, very good. Number three, what's the correct answer? Um, 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 and um, very good. Number four, what's the correct answer? Uh, 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 Excellent, very good. Ah, uh, what about number five? Ah, uh, 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 this is uh, a notebook. Exactly. Thank you, Mister. Thank you, Dennis. What about number six? Uh, 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 and very good. Excellent. So so far, so good. Very good. Very good. So, do we have questions so far? No questions. Okay. Question. Yeah. No, no question for the moment. No questions. What about? Escucha alguien ahí que something, but I don't know. I'm not sure. Ah, uh, no. Okay. Now here, as you can see, it says fine and spell this one. No, we're not going to spell right now because we're going to continue. Wait, wait a second. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah. Okay. So let's do this one. Uh, so we're not going to do that one, but yes, this one. Wait a second. Let me see my presentation because I have here the things that we're going to know. No, we're not going to do that conversation. But here, yes, the pronunciation for the S's when we are talking about many things, okay? So here we have the different pronunciations, okay? Can you help me to read, please, Eric, the first section? This one. Eric, let's go. One, two, three, go. Telephone, mm -hmm. telephones, mm -hmm. camera, mm -hmm. cameras, uh -huh. book bag, uh -huh. book bags. Exactly. Y miren, algo muy importante es que lo de los plurales o de las S, ¿ok? Vamos a agregarlo en la última palabra de nuestro nombre. En este caso dice book bag, que es como la bolsa de los libros. Entonces, miren, lo agregan en el bags, ¿ok? Just to have it in mind, okay? Next one, can you help me please, Jonathan? Desk. Mm -hmm. Desk. Mm -hmm. Map. Maps. Mm -hmm. Waste basket. Waste basket. Excellent, thank you. And the last one, Mayra, please. Yes. Sentence, sentences, exercise, exercise, watch, watches. Exactly. And basically, these are the rules, right, that I was explaining to you. Pues esas son, bueno, más que todo con la pronunciation with the S, okay? And what I was explaining. Now, here we have some pictures, okay? Wait a second. That we are going to make them plural, okay? So, what is... So you're going to write it. No sé quién es. Bueno, bueno, vamos a intentarlo. William, can you write the plural form for address, please? Podres, no sé si puedes escribir ahí cuál es la plural form. O dime, what is the plural form for address? Addresses. I'm sorry, can you repeat? Addresses. Exactly. Very good, right? With at, yes. What about next one? Can you help me, Walter? Uh, what's the plural form for briefcase? Maletín, briefcase. Walter? Is briefcases. Exactly. Very good, mister. Briefcases. Excellent. Let's see next one. Uh, let's go with Andrea. What's the plural for clock? Clocks. Exactly. Very good. Thank you, Miss. Let's go with um, Joel. What's the plural for key? Keys. Exactly. Like this? Mm. Así? Yes or no? Hmm. Yes, yes. Exactly. Yes. What about next one, Antonio? What's the plural for newspaper? Uh, 
Antonio Aguilar. Courses. No, no, no. Vamos con newspaper, mister. No sé si ves newspaper al final, la primera línea. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ok. No es Danilo. Newspaper. Newspaper. Exactly. Newspapers, right? Next one. Uh, Antonio, can you, ahora, ahora sí. Purses, tell me. Purses. Exactly, Mr. Purses. Dennis, a stamp. What's the plural? Mm -hmm. Stamp. Uh, like, like this? Yes. Mm, okay, thank you. Is it correct, everybody, or no? Stamp. Stamps, exactly. Um. Stamps, solo la S, porque no incluye en las únicas letras que incluye. La E, S, 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 C, -E H, S, H. ¿Qué otras letras? Vamos a ver quién se recuerda. S, Ajá. S, S, X, etc. In English, D, right? Yes. <laughs> yes, very good, very good. Let's try it. Remember to try it as much as you can. Ismael, what is the plural form for television? Televisions. Exactly. Thank you, mister. Uh, Guillermo, what is the plural form for ticket? Tickets. Exactly. <coughs> tickets. Perfect. Okay, so those are. These were very easy, by the way. Very good. Uh, and yeah. Okay, questions? ¿Por qué en qui de llaves? No se tuvo que haber cambiado por I, E, S cuando se dice que se tiene que cambiar cuando termina con Y. Oh, because we have a vowel, mister, porque tenemos una vocal antes de la Y. Cambio con, por ejemplo, con, por ejemplo, City. City, mira, tenemos eh, la Y y después tenemos una consonante. Un segundo, le voy a mute, mister, sorry. Ok, va. aquí tenemos, mire, la Y. Y después tenemos la consonante. Pero no, eh, entonces aquí sí nos, nos, nos agarra la, la, ¿cómo se llama? La regla. Porque no, porque si digamos, por ejemplo, voy. Mire, voy, tenemos la Y y tenemos una vocal, ¿verdad? Entonces imagínense que eso lo hiciéramos plural con esa regla. Sería así, miren. Boys, así nos quedaría. Boys. Ajá, y eso no es correcto. En inglés... They do exist, sí existen los, los, ¿cómo se llaman estos? Tritongos, pero no en estas palabras, ¿ok? En, en estos nombres. Hay ciertos, ciertas palabritas. Son bien pocas las que tienen así tritongos. ¿Por qué? Porque llevan tres vocales juntas. ¿verdad? Entonces, pero no, esta no se puede. Estas son excepciones prácticamente, ¿ok? Entonces, acá lo único que hace cuando tenemos ese tipo de palabras que llevan la Ay. Y... Ajá, solo le agregamos la S. Cuando Vamos. llevan la Y y una vocal, solo le agregan la S, ¿ok? O sea, si lleva una vocal antes de, de una consonante, no, van a, no de una consonante no cambia nada. En este caso, con la Y, más que todo, ¿ok? Don't change nothing, ¿ok? So, en este caso, solo queda con S. Yeah, that's it. Mm -hmm, super easy. Very good. And... Ajá, ¿alguien más? Escuché ahí que, que había una preguntita por ahí. No. Yo quizás un comentario. Uh -huh. eh, eh, con la regla de A y AM, uh -huh. ten, tengo entendido. No se le escucha, mister. Hello. Se me desconectó. I'm eh, sorry. Ajá. Uh -huh. Tengo entendido que las que suenan como consonante también van como A, por ejemplo. Ah, the exception. uh -huh. yeah. exceptions. Las excepciones, dice usted, me dice. Sí. 
Very good, thank you. Estos recuerden que son indefinite, right? Indefinite articles. ¿Por qué? Porque no son específicos, ok? Solo decimos el objeto y utilizamos a y an. Like, for example, ¿cuáles son los dos indefinite articles? ¿Quién me los recuerda? Vamos a ver, everybody. Indefinite, ¿cuáles son? Son dos, ¿verdad? ¿Cuáles? A and an. Uh -huh. Exactly. A and an. Ok, now. Eh, a, remember, with what do we use a? ¿Con qué utilizamos a? Con el tiempo. With what, sorry? Exactly. With la consonante. Exactly, with consonant. Thank you, Miss. Excellent. In an? La vocal. Cuando usamos vocales. Vowels. Very good. Vowel. Now, eh, so we have, for example, a. Okay, one example que that you can tell me with Book. a. Uh -huh. Pero otros, aparte de los que acabamos de ver. Another examples. Other examples. A. Tile. Oops. A box. Okay. A bread. A bread. Ah, bread. Okay, bread. Mm, no, Mr. Bread. It would be maybe a slide of bread. Okay. Uh, window. A uh, what? Window. A queen. A priest. Uh -huh. Very good. A window. A window. Yes, very good. But muy bien. But ahora con an. Can you tell me some examples with an, please? Ba uh, like words with vowels, uh, palabras que empiecen con una vocal. Can you tell me? An? Umbrella. An umbrella, very good. An? Uh, an angel. An angel, uh -huh. an? Email. Email, very good. An? One more? Alphabet. Ah, an, alf an alphabet, mm, maybe an ant. Vamos a poner an ant, okay, una hormiga. But y de ahí están las exceptions, okay. One of the exceptions is, una de las excepciones es la palabra hour. Hour, como pueden ver, tiene una H. Oh, entonces, ¿cuál utilizarían ustedes si dice hour? A o an? An. 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 ¿Por qué an? ¿Por qué an y no a? Porque la herencia en you. Eh, mi, mm, sorry, sorry. Vaya, porque, es, porque uh -huh. puede ser específica. Ok, mm, ok, most. Porque... <risa> Si lo hablamos en español, pues, podríamos decir que es muda la H, entonces a hour, algo así. Por yes, almost, ya yeah, yeah, very good, pero very porque, good. Idea. Porque suena como vocal el uh, inicio de la palabra. Very good, sí, ¿verdad? Sí, la H básicamente en este caso de hour, o sea, la hora, es muda, así como en español, como ustedes dicen, very good. Entonces, eh, hay una excepción que cua, aunque empiece con esa H, pero como es muda, pues entonces utilizamos an. Esa es una excepción. O another exception is uniform. Un, uniform. Entonces sería a o an. A o an. What do you think? A uniform. A uniform. A uniform. Entonces suena como una... Y, ¿verdad? Como una Y. Ajá, como una Y suena, entonces, por el sonido, sería A. What about university? A o an? A. 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 University. A. University, right? Very good, very good. Excellent. So, I don't know. That was the exceptions that Mr. was talking about. Esas son las excepciones que el Mr. estaba como diciendo. Uh, so, basically, you have to pronounce the word. Solo, básicamente, lo que debemos de hacer es pronunciar la palabrita o buscarla en el diccionario para saber si empieza. Pero, ahorita recuerden, miren, vamos a ir paso a paso. No nos adelantemos tanto porque, vea, para poder practicar todo. Y, este, 
no con palabras tan difíciles, ¿ok? Porque a veces lo que sucede es que si nos vamos con palabras tan difíciles, nos tupimos, como decimos, ¿verdad? Nosotros, los salvadoreños, entonces, y no, no avanzamos. Pero muy, muy bien, and thank you for remember to me, Mr. That, ¿ok? So, let's see, what do we have next? Uh, oh, wait, there we have a practice with the words. Give me one second, just to finish, because we are almost done. So we have here, and you know, I've erased everything. Uh, we have the, um, the pronunciation, but you know what? what? What are we going to do? Este aquí dice que vamos a hacer la pronunciation, but we're not going to do that. What I want you to do right now, que es lo que vamos a hacer ahorita? I want you to send me, okay? I want you to look around you, okay? Quiero que vean alrededor de ustedes. And I want you to look for things that are plural, de, por cosas que son plurales. Like, for example, right now, here, I have my, wait, wait a second. I have a mess here. <laughs> okay, so I have mask, okay? I have a lot of mask. Well, face mask, okay? Then, what else? <laughs> I have a lot of, wait, let me see. Well, no, I have IDs, okay? I, no, I don't want to show IDs, okay? I have my, my licencia and my DUI, IDs. Entonces, ustedes me van a buscar objetos por ahí y me van a mencionar las plural things that you have around you. Por lo menos two things, o sea, que tengan varios, okay? Look for, please. I book alrededor, like around you, please. And... Raise your hand if you want to give your example. Okay, Mayra, tell me, Mayra. Mayra, I have can... my pants. Exactly, pants, excellent. Alguien más, volunteer? I have my pants too, uh-huh. Okay, Maria Salome, tell me. I have a table. Uh -huh. Yeah, I have a plant. A plant, but plural means, do you have something plural? Tienes algo que tenga varias cosas that you can mention? Plant. Plants, ah, plants, excellent. Because I heard a plant, porque yo escuché a plant. Okay, but perfect, thank you. Noé, eh, Danilo, tell me. Uh, my cell phone. So, wow, two cell phones, oh my goodness. Okay, and what else? And what else do you have? So, just cell phones? Yes, what? solo cell phones? Yes. Okay, that's perfect. Thank and, you. And, and, and windows. Window. Perfect, mister. Thank you. Very good. De Dennis, okay. tell me, Dennis. Uh -huh. uh, and toys. Ah, toys. Uh -huh. Toys. What else? And toys. Toys. Just toys. Ah, perfect. Buy it. Pues recuerden que cuando estamos hablando de plural, no podemos decir a toys, por ejemplo, vean, ok. No podemos decir a tables, sino que solo tables, windows, cell phones, ok. Porque si decimos a, ah, pues es un mesas. Y no, it's not possible, right? No es posible. Let's go. Andrea, do you have something, Andrea? No? Ok, look for something. Jonathan, tell me, Jonathan. Ok, ok, Andrea, no problem. I have some flowers and sofas excellent flowers and sofas yes andrea ya de... okay. uh -huh. chair chair uh -huh. chairs chair uh -huh. yeah very good excellent let's see guillermo thank you tell thank you guillermo tell me uh, tell me markers ah perfect are you a teacher teacher no very no, good no no. no 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 okay daniela do you have something uh pants ah pants y cell phone cell, two cell phones oh my goodness what do you do for a living i only have one cell phone <laughs> very good thank you what about you william nothing plural nothing one thing or una sola cosa that you have Show me like your headphones. A um, pen. Uh, a an or a pen? Hmm. A pen. Excellent, very good. Let's go with Joel. Joel, what about you, Joel? 
Este, a tolls. What? What? Eh, tolls. Tools, tool. <laughs> ah, you have tools. Very good. Excellent. Antonio, what about you, Antonio? Cell phones. Cell, cell, two cell, two, oh my goodness, what do you do for? Everybody has two cell phones. What is happening here? ¿Qué sucede acá? Every, ¿Todos tienen two cell phones? En por el la, trabajo. En, and the teacher only one. <laughs> <laughs> ah, okay. You need two cell phones for your work. Oh, todos, todos ocupan two, two cell phones? Yes. yes? Oh, yes. that's. That's good. That's good. That's nice. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. What about Maria Salome? What about you? Ah, <laughs> uh, sorry. Ya le dije la mía. I am sorry, Marvin. I'm sorry. <laughs> Marvin, what about you? Ah, si me dijo plants. I remember. Uh huh. Marvin or Walter, Yolanda, tell me, tell me, you guys. Hi. Thank you. Okay, Ismael y después Walter, because there are Walter ready, ready to show me. Ismael, tell me. I have pictures with my family. Ah, pictures. Uh -huh. I have books. And books. Perfect. Very good, very good. What about you, Walter? Tell me. I hear I you. Have not books. Not books. Excellent. Jonathan, ah, no, Jonathan. Eric, Eric, what about you? Have a guitars. You have guitars? What? Do you play guitar? I learn. Oh, you're learning. Okay, that's perfect. Uh, Yolanda, what about you? Yeah, I puzzles. Puzzles, aha, uh -huh. puzzles, aha, uh -huh. puzzles, aha, uh -huh. puzzles, puzzles. Very good, excellent, very good, very good. ¿Qué me falta? I think everybody, right? Said it, Jonathan. What about you? Or not, Jonathan? Yes, uh, yes I say. Oh, you said. So I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, very good. Okay, so that was perfect. Very good. Okay, now. Just to, before we finish, okay, the platform, okay, remember that when you enter, recuerden que cuando entren, pues les va a parecer así, solo porque necesito que trabajemos en eso, you guys, okay? So, the number one, we already finished it, la número uno, pues, section number one, ayer la terminamos, okay, y ahorita, pues, hicimos una pequeña práctica, okay? So, basically, you have a video, you have a practice, recuerden que tenemos un video, tenemos la práctica, vea, and then, y, de, y ahora ya podemos comenzar con la section number two, okay? Uh, because remember that we have to be moving on porque tenemos que ir avanzando porque si no, nos va a, no nos va a cansar el tiempo. And remember that by May 12th, recuerden que para mayo 12, pues tenemos que haber terminado con every section y tenemos muchas sections, okay? So, so today you can do this one, la primera with the video. And uh, on Monday, la primera podemos empezar con de la unidad dos, okay? De ahí el lunes vamos a continuar con el resto, okay? So I don't know if you have questions so far. Questions, questions, because we are ready with that. Um, es muy importante, sí, Dennis, tell me. Una consulta. Eh... Con la lección 1, pues, cuando ya se completa el 100%, como está dividido en 25-25, ¿verdad? Sí, yes, sí. Yes. Cuando se completa es, es que ya terminamos esa parte. Yeah, exactly. En la lección 2, mm -hmm. ya sería el, el otro 100% que está dividido y de igual manera en el 25%. Sí, yes. eh, like por ejemplo, okay. ahorita, ahorita estoy viendo, eh, que algunos ya vi que están avanzando, por ejemplo, Miss Andrea, wow, Miss, you finished two units, la Miss ya terminó, Dos, eh, la, la homework one, la tarea número uno y oh, la tarea wow. número Oh, really, Dennis? 
wait, let me see. Um, Dennis, pero me parece solo la uno right now. Ajá, uh -huh. but very sí, good. Solo uno. Ah, ok. So, very good. De ahí quiero ver. Ok, so, si ustedes pueden ir avanzando con el resto, ah, vean los videos, porque a veces los toma en cuenta, ok. Watch them. Véanlos, ok. Son muy importantes. De hecho, es más que todo acerca del, del manual, si se fijan. Y yo les doy un poquito extra. Ya se fijaron que tal vez no está ahí, pero yo les agrego un poco más, ok, para practice, ok. Entonces, uh, también Mayra. Oh, thank you, Mayra. You finished too. And Jan, uh, I don't know who is Jancy, pero Jancy also too. And Miss Yolanda, thank you. Please work in that, porque pues yo ahora, bueno, mañana les voy a, uh, pero todos los jueves, para ustedes, todos los jueves, yo chequeo su, la plataforma y tengo que subir notas, ¿ok? Eh, porque eh, para que al final, pues, del tiempo, ustedes obtengan su diploma, ustedes ya saben, ¿verdad? Así que, please, please, vayan avanzando si pueden. Uh, and, and if you have any questions, let me know. Y si tienen alguna duda o pregunta acerca de la plataforma, yo voy a estar pendiente de ustedes sábado, domingo, ¿ok? Así que no se preocupen, pueden escribirme, ¿ok? Questions. Do we have any questions? Sí. ¿Preguntas? ¿Yes, Dennis? ¿Or no? No, no, <laughs> no questions. No. <laughs> Okay, okay, so thank you everybody for coming to today's class. Gracias a todos por haber venido el día de ahora. I really appreciate that. De verdad aprecio eso. And I'll see you Monday. Y los veo Monday, okay? Bye bye, everybody. Take care. Have a great weekend. Bye. 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 No problem. Bye. Good night. Bye. Take care. Bye. Good night. Bye bye. bye, -bye. Goodbye. Bye. Take care. Have a great weekend. Take care. Be safe. Bye. Antonio, tell me, Antonio, you told me that you wanted to talk to me. Me dijiste que querías hablar conmigo, dime. Correcto, eh, teacher. Fíjese que yo tengo un problemita. Uh -huh. Los cuales la plataforma yo no la había podido abrir uh -huh. hasta ahora. Dígame. Uh -huh. Porque eh, realmente el correo que yo había puesto a un principio era el correo de la empresa. Ah. Pero como que no podíamos relacionar el correo de la empresa con, con las actividades. Ajá. Entonces, eh, prácticamente ahora con Mayra, con Mayra, pues, pues somos compañeros de trabajo, Ajá. estamos en el mismo equipo y con ella intentamos ahora abrir la plataforma y hasta ahora la pude abrir. Ajá. Por ende, todas estas tareas, la tarea que usted dejó a partir de, de lunes, yo no la, he con, no, le, con, no la he completado porque Understand. hasta ahora pude abrirla. Sí, Entonces, uh -huh. yo quería hablar con usted, o sea, me daba una esperita para ver cómo... Claro. Esa tarea yo y todo, ¿verdad? Yes. Y ya con la otra yo me pongo al día, pues. Excelente. No, sí, mister, no hay problema. Lo que sucede es que, eh, pues, entiendo, porque sí, también Ismael, pues, hasta ayer pudo ingresar, porque igual el, el correo, lo mismo. Entonces, este, no se preocupe, puede ser realizarlo y usted tiene la ventaja de que todavía puede mañana, el sábado y el domingo, así que no se preocupe. Pero sí, necesito que lo vayan realizando, porque hay personas, mister, así, ¿verdad? Que... De hecho, un día antes la terminan toda, pero no es lo, lo ideal, ¿verdad? Porque recuerde que no, ahí en la... No, porque pues uno va viendo ahí los videos, refuerza el tema de la clase, pues una hora pasa volando y ahí en la plataforma sí. lo que hace es repasar. Así que no se preocupe, Correcto. usted puede hacerlo, pero hágalo a conciencia, pues no quiero que me lo vaya a hacer rápido, ¿ok? Correcto, o sea, sí, tengo de mañana a domingo para finalizar. Ajá. Yes, yes, sí, claro que sí. Lo único que vea, por ejemplo, los, el resto que ya terminó, obviamente le voy a calificar, vea, pero usted cuando lo termine, mister, yo vuelvo a revisar todavía, de, si no han terminado, digamos que, no sé, Yolanda, digamos, no haya hecho la unidad 1 para el fin del curso, yo vuelvo a revisar la unidad 1, 2 y 3 para que no se queden sin sus notas. Así que sí, mister. Finish it, termínelo, mister. Okay. Cualquier duda, ahí estamos al pendiente, ahí en WhatsApp, me puede escribir, ahí estamos, este, para, por si tiene alguna duda con la actividad, ¿ok? Ok, ok. Mm -hmm. okay. No Thank problem, you. mister. Ok, no problem, mister. Cuídese. Bye-bye. Good night. Bye. Bye. Bye-bye.